Only on 6 Tonight, how does an officer decide whether to stop someone, when to write a ticket, or when to search a car? UCF's police chief says he is making sure his officers are making those decisions for the right reasons and not letting their biases get in the way. News 6's Eric Von Anken talked to the chief about identifying those biases. Jimmy Jones, delivery guy. <laughs> Every time an officer encounters someone, he or she has to make decisions about that person. The decision should only be based on what the person is suspected of doing, how the person responds, and if the person has a criminal record. But sometimes something called implicit bias affects decision making. What exactly is implicit bias? Implicit bias, those are the, the biases that we all have. I would say make snap judgments about an individual based on their appearance. And we do it every day. UCF Police Chief Carl Metzger says explicit bias in officers or officer candidates is fairly obvious. A lie detector test can bring it out. So during that voice stress, one of the questions would be about um, membership in some sort of um, subversive organization, such as the KKK, for instance, uh, or some other group that, uh, that might stereotype or um, be racially divisive. So it seems like explicit bias uh, you could figure out pretty easily. It's a yes or no question. How do you figure out implicit bias? And that's the rub, isn't it? To try and eliminate implicit bias, the chief says for the past six years, his officers have been regularly trained by a national expert to recognize bias, acknowledge it, and stop it. And now the PD is going a step further, having that expert teach a UCF officer how to do the bias training so any new hires can be trained as soon as they start. The chief is also working on a new way to detect implicit bias in candidates before they're hired. We're still figuring out exactly what that means. Uh, because it needs to be objective and fair. The UCF PD recently added another element to its policing policy, a duty to intervene, requiring officers to do the right thing, as the chief likes to say. Uh, everything an officer needs to do, um, you know, should they um, see something happening that um, is in violation of our policy or in violation of the law. Bias is not only wrong and unfair, the chief says, it's dangerous. He believes officers in Central Florida have gotten killed by making the wrong assumptions about suspects. The police chief tells me that all officers now, new and old, have taken bias training online. He says over the next few weeks, someone will meet with that bias expert to bring the training back here so all officers can do it in person starting later this month. At UCFPD, Eric Von Aiken getting results, News 6.